Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Legend Series Marvel Spider-Man Red Goblin. And this is from the Kingpin Build-A-Figure Wave. He comes in that typical Marvel Legend style packaging. Got the Spidey logo on top. We got the Red Goblin looking weird on the sides. Pretty cool artwork. And that's on the same uh, on the other side as well. Then we got the figure in some generic pose. And we do have a little bit of a read-up. Then you need to collect at least six of these figures and leave that six-armed Spider-Man in the trash to build this amazing Build-A-Figure. Let's get Red Goblin out of his package. Red Goblin out of the package looks like Red Goblin, and he definitely is not a bad-looking figure. He does come with a nice little chunk of lunk of leg right there we got going on for Kingpin because he is a husky man, so awesome last part i needed and he does come with a symbiote accessory effect thing it's a backpack plug it just plugs right in it is uh pretty cool i mean i don't think we could have enough of these as they didn't give it to us with all the symbiote figures i would have thought that they would have put something like this with every symbiote just because you can never have too much symbiote looking stuff but cool that we got this with this figure and we do get his pumpkin bomb. His pumpkin bomb is consumed by the symbiote as well. Has the uh, flared out eyes just like the symbiote Spidey. And uh, one thing I do like, I love the sculpted black part on here. It's all liquidy at top and looks really, really cool. And then the bottom is painted orange. Would have been really cool if they used that translucent orange they used before with the pumpkin bombs. And paint everything, even though that red... Matches to, uh, I was going to say Carnage, to Red Goblin perfectly. But cool little grenade bomb thingamajig. And uh, let's take a look at this figure. The figure itself, um, he's not bad. He's definitely not bad. I mean, there's definitely things that I wish he would have came with, such as alternate um, hands. But that head sculpt is pretty on point. It is very goblin-y with the Vegeta hair. Slicking back, almost like treasure troll hair. But the eyes and that whole, this whole section just reminds me of Stinkor from He-Man. But uh, the <laughs> the jaw and stuff, I wish it was hinged. Because, like, I just feel maybe we don't want him to look like a witch. Or goblin-y like that, like maybe he just have it opened up. Because they did paint the interior of his mouth. And I just feel like it just goes to waste. You really can't see much detail in the teeth and stuff that they have sculpted in there either. Sort of weird. Um, overall, he's just he's painted up. He's pretty nice. You do have the same issue that I do believe Carnage had. The body, that like this whole body, crotch, these upper thighs are a different shiny plastic compared to the matte plastic they use for the arms and lower legs and tail, which is disappointing. But uh, articulation-wise, as we're looking at the detail and everything, his head does look back all the way to where it pops off like that. Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, that actually looks really cool. I just noticed that. And I got a little paint issue right there. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get past me. Um, his head looks back all the way like so. And then looking down, he can look down quite a bit and even squishes his little mouth closed more. And uh, definitely get some left and right. Not really any attitude with this one, which is disappointing. I wish we can get a little bit more angle to the head. Uh, arms can go up. it has got the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist rotation, and bend. Now one thing I noticed on these guys is almost like... What, what were they wanting done with these? They're just, everything's getting all intertangled with, with this stuff. It just looks like a glob of melted plastic that's just, I don't know, needs to be heated up. Does it need to be moved somewhere? How's it supposed to look? Very nice paint going through. wonder what, like why they didn't just sculpt it in. They did it on the pumpkin bomb. If they could have sculpted in the black on this figure, it would have looked really, really cool. And then his hands are just like normal looking hands. No claw hands. That's something I wish we would have got. Some claw hands would have been very nice. And then again, you got that big globbly. This is like all, I don't know, it's just weird looking. 
Like I understand it's it's symbiotic fluid, <laughs> like the symbiote all moving around or whatnot. But like this one just is like feels very thin, and it almost is just like getting all intertangled. I don't know. I don't really know how it's supposed to be positioned at all. But same articulation on both sides, so you know you can get his arms up quite, quite far. And as for our, you know, ab crunch, he can bend down like so. Gives him the nice gap in the back, and then he can lean back only that far. Still gives a gap up there too, and they didn't continue painting up there. Disappointment. And then you saw. He does have the waist swivel, which gives him the bookshelf hips. And then it breaks up this pattern. Same with the thigh cuts. It breaks up the pattern. And then you get the uh, double jointed knee. You get the boot calf swivel. Breaks the pattern again. Ankle bend. And pivot for the feet. He can put his legs out this far. No Van Dam splits. And he can kick quite straight. So you can do a Spartan kick. No field goal, though. Then we get his tail, which is just a big hunk of unwired plastic. It's, uh, you know, it's a big piece of rubber. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, the hell, I guess, like, he... Actually, I do know how I feel about it. There's no wire. Um, there's no articulation to this thing, so you're really stuck with certain poses with this guy and you know it it's it sucks it sucks like if you're gonna pose in vanilla or try to do something like you can't really do much action because it i don't know it just isn't gonna flow the way if you want to do like it, it's weird it's weird it's very very freaking weird and yeah and i got a little bit of extra black paint on there and then also we get some weird extra plastic or something going on there, making that look gnarly. It's supposed to look like this. But then I get that. Very, very weird. But let me let me just get this guy all posed up and stuff like that. And and they're using the heck out of these these feet. You know, these these little demon monster feet. And then look at that. The paint. Luckily it's a symbiote and carnage, but there's like red that isn't painted i'd assume that was supposed to be black who knows but let me get him all posed up I just sort of got him into a weird like kooky pose like he's just being goofy uh like the goblin is more popping out versus carnage and uh sort of just used his foot and his tail to sort of balance him out um or else he'd go forward like so one thing i really do like when posing um besides when the tendril backpacks on it makes everything look cool but his hands, like the, the hands right here, if it'll focus, come on, focus, there we go. It holds the pumpkin bomb so well. It looks so good holding on to the pumpkin bomb. And you could probably even push it further into the hand if you really wanted to, you know. You know, get them all, holding it however which way you want. But it, the hands are perfect for holding these pumpkin bombs. So overall, I mean, this guy is definitely one of the top three of the wave. Um, I wish he had a butterfly joint because I really figure if you could just bring his hands in like that, it would look so cool. Just all hunched over, holding on to his pumpkin bomb. Like, it's just, my precious. You know, it's just, I don't know, with the eyes and stuff, that's just sort of how I get it. I get the whole vibe of this character and stuff like that. I've never read the comic where Red Goblin exists. But I know he's supposed to come with a glider. Or he has a glider. And I know there's people out there making custom ones, 3D printing ones, and stuff like that. Either Hasbro's going to re-release this dude and give us a glider. Or he's going to release the glider with a separate, separate like figure or something. I don't know. But this guy needs a glider because that tail limits so much. If he's on a glider, maybe the glider could block the tail a little bit. And you can get him in some better poses. But it's just this big hunk of a tail i don't know it's not a bad figure it's definitely a cool looking figure and i'm all about the symbiotes i'm a huge venom fan 
And of course, if you're a Venom fan, you know Carnage and all the others fall into suit. So I'm happy to have this figure part of my collection. I can't wait to build Kingpin. So uh, that sums up my unboxing and review of the Legend series red goblin if you guys like what you saw please hit that thumbs up if you're new to my channel just hit that subscribe button so then you'll know when i put out new stuff and again i do a variety of different reviews even sprinkle in some hunts and some you know live chats and all that good stuff so hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out toyco toys and collectibles their facebook groups are down below you got the community interact with your fellow nerd trade talk figs ask questions you know if you're new to collecting there's plenty of us out there that are willing to help you out and give you pointers and things like that. And then there's the pre-order group, which keeps you in the know with knowing when stuff's coming out. And also giving you the option to get it at a really good pre-order price to where it can be delivered to your doorstep. So make sure you check out those groups. Say hello as I am both in, I'm in both those groups. And uh, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.